step right up here for the greatest show on earth, the Washed Up Loser Olympics 2020. CrossFit's trying to keep its competitive exercises from getting sick, but has done nothing about the bad calls and stupid events that plague it every year. When you no longer have to cover your face, you can count on CrossFit to keep masquerading as a real sport. And for me to cover the farce, because I'm Asian reporter and returning champion Elgin Tensity, a.k.a. Trapsashi Lamamoto. And they're off. This year, an online qualifier cut the field to five competitors per division. Last year, each division had over 100 competitors from all over the world, with most of them having no real chance of performing well. The pandemic wound up giving CrossFit a way to tell them to stay at home without getting any bad PR. Noah Olsen is taking huge chunks of rest in between the jerks and the bar muscles, where Medeiros is not doing it. Right. I'm going to talk about Matt Fraser's in the center part of your screen. Olsen has been to the games before. He should know how to pace himself. His plan to show us what he's got went up in flames in California. It's like watching a gender reveal party. All he secured at this event were his top knot and last place. By the way, Matt Fraser's time of 13.07, that was the winning time for Brett Marshall in 2007 that. on the event that inspired this. The bar has to be locked out over the middle of the body with the feet in line. Instead, she bent under the pressure like Glassman facing the outrage mob. The only mirror finish, besides the one on her judge's brain, was when the reigning champs missed their final lifts. No matter how invulnerable they appear, they both bleed, meaning they have at least one cycle that's perfectly timed for the games. We now move to the corn sack sprint. There's no better way to trivialize CrossFit's crusade against Big Soda than by having the competitors haul bags of what's ostensibly the ingredient that keeps Big Soda in business. Olsen will take third, and Adler at the last second just ahead of yep. Madero's. That was a mistake. And that would be the other cut that makes him look like a loser. He wanted to be David Hasselhoff for Halloween so much that he even ran in slow motion like him. In an era of mostly peaceful riots, we have mostly walking hill sprints. 2020 is the year that keeps on giving me headaches. But the bottleneck at the end, and I thought Haley was going to pass. Actually, you could see it right there. She slips, and the back came down, and it almost opened the door for Carrie Pierce behind her. She's really struggling to pick up that corn sack. I haven't seen millennials fumble this much with a crop since the Chaz, which was about as fleeting and unproductive as Dave Castro's run as the CEO really changing it's not slowing down it's not, a good sign well it's just thinking about the next week yeah it just shows how much power she has here's last year's champion representing australia which is why if you look down under you'll see boomerangs hey I tell you what if you tell me to clap my knees together and i'll get a 325 pound back squat i'll sign up for that right now smack those knees together and do it all day long you heard that right the average crossfit dude would dance to charleston just to squat 325 you might be thinking wait it's all mediocrity always has been 3.15 on the bar for Brooke Wells. This will be a third and final attempt. Bruh. <sighs> she might get away with it, but rising from the hole like that can cost you your knees, which brings new meaning to out-of-pocket expenses. This T is looking to put a lot more distance between her and Brooke Wells. But not her knees. 335 with ease for Tia Toomey. So Tia Toomey will have a 20 pound lead going into the strict press. There's no audience at the games this year, but her knees clapped so much that she was still getting a round of applause. You can see her drop slightly before the press to gain momentum, which isn't allowed. She was using questionable methods to prove her strength and expected nobody to notice. Who does she think she is, Jeff Cavalier? Wow, look at that. Katrine X and the judge thought she just took a stutter step each time, but she was actually traveling. 127 in the bag so far. She's got to try to close the gap between her and Davis Otter to try to get out of that fifth place position. Oh, there was a lot of fight going on there. Either she can't count to three, or she really just tried to finesse an extra attempt with a thousand cameras aimed at her. That feel when her wheels didn't rise overhead or turn in her head. So you have the full 45 seconds if you need to re-rack or whatever. Are they going to let her do it? No. So she's going to get 127. 
Imagine being clueless about such an old event. CrossFit claims to prepare people for the unknown and the unknowable, but it can't get them to remember a four-page PDF from 2006. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so very tight. You see her get, everything's engaged. She gets right up past the knees. She's hanging out there, trying to get those hips. You see her inching up. There's the lockout, shoulders behind the bar. What a surprise. CrossFit still hasn't flattened the curve. Until then, this well's dwindling liquid resource is the fluid in her discs. Too bad her glutes can't extend her hips as well as they extend her Instagram reach. How is my face burning and I actually have a chill? <laughs> it's like, I'm so confused. <laughs> So <laughs> when it comes to recording gaffes, it's better to be hot and cold than it is to be hot and bothered. Then again, we're watching people work out just so they can call themselves the fittest on earth, so we're still being exposed to masturbatory exercises. Hey, good morning from the field of play, guys. It is a beautiful day down here, but it has made for a relatively precarious situation for the athletes this morning. The grass was dewy, it was wet, and each individual athlete had the opportunity to walk down their lanes as they are doing right now to look for any divots or any uneven portions in the grass. When the demo team did it this morning, actually a couple of them had the opportunity to try with these heavy kettlebells doing those lunges and ended up falling over a little bit, slipping in the grass. So we'll see how it goes for these athletes. If Glassman had a team to check his tweets for potential disasters, then he might still have his company. By the way, that demo guy was one of the first to back out of the games over those tweets, which means this isn't the first time CrossFit made him perform an uncomfortable split. That rig first, get to those kettlebells and move. The games didn't even need a fencing event for lunges to cause pierce damage. But it was really incredible how Tia was just very calm. Let her make that move. Crossfitters can barely lift on dry platforms, let alone dew-covered grass. At the CrossFit Games, drops spread you. And the leaderboards are very similar. Matt Fraser has clinched. Same story on the women's side. Tia Toomey, she has clinched. How exciting. The two reigning champs are guaranteed first place going into the finale. Nobody else's experience of aromas will include the smell of victory. Final event of the 2020 Reebok CrossFit Games. And just to sum up, one mile run, 100 handstand push-ups, 200 pistols, 300 pull-ups, and then a final one mile run. 300 kipping pull-ups. Soon they'll have to remember to leave the house with their face masks and fresh gauze. You do not want movement of your palm on that bar. Haley Adams looks like she might have a little blood on her hands right now. Imagine being a games competitor and not knowing how to cheat at pull-ups. Then again, you can be a presidential candidate and not know how to form a sentence, so anything is possible when you put what's left of your mind to it. And Haley Adams is just... You can see both of her hands now look like... Yeah, it looks like both It looks hands. like... It, it's hard to tell if that's the grip of the tape, but there's, it looks like there's red on both grips. It took a lot of grit for her to finish the event, but a much lower grit to finish her hands. Go on, and Wells looks like she has a oh. sizable amount of blood smeared on her shorts. I mean, we heard that from the demo team. Yep. I mean, no one was left unscathed yep. testing this event, and it's bound to happen. This isn't unfamiliar. Maybe if you're seeing it for the first time, it might seem like a murder scene running down the last mile, but this is just kind of par for the course. It happens in events like this sometimes. Par for the course for her would be filming from behind. If I wanted to see a washed up curvy airhead with a bloody handprint, I'd watch Castaway. This final workout was named after a huntress who challenged her suitors to a foot race to decide who'd get her hand in marriage. One guy managed to win by getting the goddess of love to give him golden apples to throw in front of Atalanta and distract her whenever she got too far ahead. While the games took place at the site of the first competition, there's no better way to return to CrossFit's roots than to name the finale after the story of a guy who had to cheat because he sucked at sports. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel, now.